Yo, what up everybody? Miri Him here, owner of Rappin' and Snackin'. About to give you another video. This one is gonna be on Machiavelli's album, aka Tupac, his album, The Don Caluminati, The Seven Day Theory. Definitely one of my favorite Tupac albums, possibly my third favorite of his catalog. Really, really, really excellent piece of work. Death Row Records. And yeah, gonna go ahead and show off the vinyl, CDs, and tape that I have for this album. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Rappin' and Snack, and I show off all my collection, physicals, etc., as I do on this channel. And please like the video if you do enjoy it, and subscribe as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. We're gonna start off with the records. First off, we have the original 1996 pressing of the album. Always love this cover. Uh, clever to have the parental advisory where it is. I just think that's fairly clever. He got the... Uh, promo cut in the top left. I have uh, seen some with the cut. I've seen some without it, but this particular one that I have has the cut on it. Pretty clean, although the glue is coming uh, off at the bottom right there, but aside from that, there's not many dings um, in the physical pressing. The spine is always, it's hard for me to, to kind of make it clear there, but you got the back there too. Excellent work. Exit Tupac, Enter Machiavelli, always love that. And then you got the actual vinyl records right here, so let's pull them out. And then first off, <clears throat> you have um, vinyl one, side A, which starts off with Bomb First. Then you got side B right here, which Bomb First is one of my favorite intros to an album. It's, it's super uh, incredible. Then you got side B right here. And then you got side A of the second record, which starts out with Just Like Daddy, and then the last song, Against the Laws, which might be my favorite Tupac song of all time. If not, it's definitely in the top three, definitely one of my favorite Tupac songs ever. It's just incredible, uh, really, really amazing stuff. But uh, yeah, that's my Machiavelli record. Let's go ahead and get into the single. So first off here, as you can see, it's Toss It Up. Really, really, really dope song. This is interesting because um, this cover looks like it was used as one of the B-rolls from the All Eyes On Me album. As you can recall, All Eyes On Me, this is the exact thing he's wearing uh, from that photo shoot. So I can only assume that this is from the All Eyes On Me photo shoot, um, which actually it is. So anyways, this, they just use it for the toss it up, as you can see uh, from the album, the Don Columnati Seven Day Theory, Machiavelli on it, uh, got the death row logo logo there this is pressed in the united kingdom and let's go ahead and show the record boom right there on black vinyl right there so then moving on let's go ahead and get into the next release we have to live and die in la so let's go ahead and pull this up this is tupac is machiavelli uh they obviously put that because some people are probably like who's machiavelli you know um so they want to just confirm that it is Tupac right there. You got him with the glasses. This image is also taken from another photo shoot. This is around the Me Against the World era. I know for a fact that they use this as um, uh, for the Dear Mama single. Uh, I think this was used either in, I think on so many tiers. So anyways, it's, it's interesting. You know, they're using uh, old images right here. And yeah, you got United Kingdom. Again, you got the vinyl record right here, To Live and Die in L.A. Such a great song uh, right here. And then it also has the B-side, Just Like Daddy, as well. Moving on, we have Hail Mary. This is possibly the most popular song from the album. Uh, in my opinion, it's definitely the most quoted song from the album. Uh, that's for sure. A lot of people quote this one, especially uh, the Revenge line, which is very popular and just one of my favorites. Uh, but Hail Mary is just an excellent, excellent, excellent song. Like I said, these are a lot of these are old images um, from earlier in Tupac's career. I believe in the Me Against the World era, particularly this one and this one and this one. Like I know those are. Uh, and then you have Hail Mary and Life of an Outlaw on here. Really, really, really strong songs. I mean, this is such a, a great album. And it's only 12 tracks and really packs a punch. So moving on, we have the generic Death Row Records, vinyl records. First off right here, it's White Man's World, as you can see. 
also has Me and My Girlfriend. Uh, Me and My Girlfriend is one of my favorite concept songs. Um, it's just fantastically great. And then a lot of, uh, there's a lot of stories between the comparisons of um, Me and My Girlfriend as well as I Gave You Power by Nas. So there's a lot of interesting stories on that too. If you haven't read them, go ahead and read them. So boom, boom, boom on the Death Row label sleeve. Then we got the To Live and Die in LA right here. This cover is a little more beat up. And on the B side, uh, we have, or sorry, on the other side, I have Hail Mary. Yeah, B side, because it's side B. But boom. And also right here on this next one I have, this is Hail Mary. And then it's also Hail Mary on the flip. So what's interesting here is you can see on the right, uh, it's using the Death Row uh, uh, center label, where it's got the actual logo printed big. Whereas on the left, it's just the red sleeve or the red label. So that's interesting, you know, how, you know, labels will kind of mix things up. Different pressings have different things. So I find that cool. Uh, but yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty cool. And then let's go ahead and get into the uh, tape that I have. Got the Machiavelli uh, tape right here, still sealed. Got the spine. This one does have a little bit of sun damage when I bought it used. Uh, it came like this, so as you can tell, it was probably out in the sun a little bit. That's why it's not as brown as the rest of the cover. You can see here, it's more of that like yellowish brown, whereas here it starts to get a little more faded. And that's kind of what it is. So that's an important lesson, you know, never to put a lot of, never to put your items in like direct sunlight or anything like that over a period of time. Because something like this could happen. So yeah, I bought this used actually probably close to 10 years ago. Um, but yeah, I'm actually, I'm just gonna buy another one because that does bother me a little bit. And I'll also, I would like to have an open copy. Purposely left this one sealed because back then I was like, oh, you know, I'm sure you won't really find many of these sealed, but this also is a bit irritating. But anyways, such a, a great, great, great uh, cassette tape nonetheless. Boom. Then moving on to CDs. Have the uh, 1996 pressing right here, Death Row Records. Boom, boom. Always found this uh, CD art to be interesting. And then we got the actual artwork. Boom, so nothing uh, different from the vinyl. The same. And then let's go ahead and show the repress, or one of the represses, I should say. This is the enhanced CD version. Not, you know, a ton is different. As you can see, it's the same CD art. This is actually also um, similar. And then here I can also just show it. So very, very, very similar right there. Obviously Koch uh, Records is there too. Um, but then also what's different on this particular pressing is that it also has uh, the video to live and die in LA in it. So that's pretty cool. You know, I remember back then, um, uh, YouTube was out then when I bought this, but still like for a lot of people uh, before like YouTube was out, you know, they just have to watch things on their TV. So the enhanced CDs uh, would give you an opportunity to watch those music videos at your own leisure whenever you wanted to. So I thought that was always cool. And I remember these enhanced CDs definitely were big uh, in music at that time, you know, to see what you can hear. So that's always cool. And it's just another way to date music and to show, you know, what was popping at the time. So then let's go ahead and move on to my CD singles. We have Machiavelli's Toss It Up, just like the vinyl right there. Same stuff, this is on a J card. It was printed in the European Union or the UK. Uh, one of those, yeah, United Kingdom, same track list, toss it up right there, boom, boom, super, super awesome song. Moving on to Live and Die in LA, just like I had the vinyl record, I also have the CD single, we have the J Card release. This is another one that should be uh, United Kingdom. It's got just like Daddy is, is this other track on it. And then boom, yep, United Kingdom. 
And then lastly from this, we have Hail Mary. Another J card release, basically the same as what I just shown. Life of an Outlaw on there featuring the Outlaws. United Kingdom. Such a great uh, song and single, but that is my uh, Machiavelli uh, album collection. It did just um, celebrate its 25 year anniversary. It did release in 1996 and it is 2021 when I'm recording this. Actually, I recorded this the day before the anniversary and I'm posting it for you all to see on the date of the anniversary. But anyways, this is my collection. Feel free to let me know your favorite song on this album. I mean, mine, like I said, is gonna be against all odds. I think Bomb First is just such a crazy way to start an album. Um, really, honestly, I'm gonna end up reviewing some of the songs on here because it's just that special. But go ahead, let me know your favorites. Like the video, do all that good stuff, and hit me up on Instagram, at Rappin' and Snackin', and I'm out of here. I appreciate y'all, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.